uh, it's confusing. So it's all about we we have some some sort of entity, and we need to either get data into it or get data out of it. Um, and the first one and one of the oldest one are streams. So if we have an in-stream, we can read data from the in-stream, so means that we're getting data out of the stream. If we have an out-stream, we can write data to the stream and thereby getting data into. In this case, it could be a, a blob or some other uh, construct where, where you need to get data either data out or data in. So data out of a stream, you read from the stream, from the in-stream data into the stream, you write to the out-stream. Well, in, read, out, write, uh, it's confusing. Let's carry on to the next one, JSON object. So if we have a JSON object, we can get data of, out by writing to. So write to will get data out of the object and read from will get data into the object. So if we have a string with JSON and we want to parse that and put it into, uh, get a true JSON object uh, value or variable, then we use the read from. Okay, let's continue. An XML document. So if we want to get XML out of an XML document, we use the write to function. But if we want to get data in to an XML document, we use the read from. Have you, do you follow along with all the combinations? Let's carry, carry on and see the next one. So this is the HTTP content. So if we want to get data into this, we now use write from. So now we're getting data into the content through a function called write from, but if we want to get it out again, we use the read as. Confusing? Ah, let's go on. And the last one in this small list of, of different data is the big text. Big text. That's a hard one to say. And if we want to get data out of a big text, we use the write. And if we want to get data in, we use the read.